What percent of hello aliens evolved from land animals as opposed to plants or ocean slash air organisms? By the way, I did um, recently see that there's uh, only 10% of species on Earth are in the ocean. So there's a lot more right. variety on land. land. There is. It's, it's interesting. So why is that? I don't even, I can't even intuit exactly why that would be. Maybe survival on land is harder, and so you get so a lot The story more. that I understand is it's about small niches. So speciation uh, can be promoted by having multiple different species. So in the ocean, species are larger. That is, there are more creatures in each species because the ocean environments don't vary as much. So if you're good in one place, you're good in many other places. But you know, on land, and especially in rivers, rivers contain an enormous percentage of the kinds of species on land, you see, because they vary so much mm. uh, from place to place. And so a species can be good in one place, and then other species can't really compete because uh, they came from a different place where things are different. So um, it's a, a remarkable fact, actually, that uh, speciation promotes evolution in the long run. That is, more evolution has happened on land because there have been more species on land, because each species has been smaller. And that's actually a warning about something or something called rot that I've, I've thought a lot about, which is one of the problems with the, even a world government, which is large systems of software today just consistently rot and decay with time and have to be replaced. And that plausibly also is a problem for other large systems, including biological systems, legal systems, regulatory systems. And um, it seems like large species actually don't evolve as effectively as small ones do. <laughs> And that's an important thing to notice about. And, so, and that's actually in diff, that's different from ordinary sort of um, evolution in economies on Earth in the last few centuries, say. Um, you know, on Earth, ev the more technical evolution and economic growth happens in larger integrated cities and nations. But in biology, it's the other way around. More evolution happened in the fragmented species. Yeah, it's, it's such a nuanced discussion because you can also push back in terms of nations and, and at least companies. It's like large companies seems to evolve less effectively. There is something that, you know, they have more resources, more, um, they don't even have better resilience. If, when you look at the scale of decades and centuries, it seems like a lot of large companies die but it's still large economies do better. Like large cities grow better than small cities. Lar large integrated economies like the United States or the European Union do better than small fragmented ones. So yeah, even sure. It's, it's, that, that's a very interesting long discussion. But so most of the people, and obviously votes on Twitter um, represent the absolute uh, objective truth of things. So most- but, but an interesting question about oceans is that Okay, remember I told you about how most planets would last for trillions of years yes. and, and be later, right? So people have tried to explain why life appeared on Earth by saying, oh, all those planets are gonna be unqualified for life because of various problems. That is, they're around smaller stars, which last longer, and smaller stars have some things like more solar flares, maybe more tidal locking. But almost all of these problems with longer lived planets aren't problems for ocean worlds. And there are a large fraction of planets out there are ocean worlds. So if life can appear on an ocean world, then uh, that pretty much ensures that these, these planets that last a very long time could have advanced life because most you know, there's a huge fraction of ocean worlds. So that's actually an open question. So when you say, sorry, when you say life appear, you're kind of saying life and intelligent life. So like, uh, so that's, that's an open question. Is land, and that's I, I suppose the question behind the the Twitter poll, which is a grabby alien civilization that comes to say hello. What's the chance that they first began their early steps, the difficult steps they took on, on land? Hmm. What do you think? Most, 80 percent, uh, mo most people on Twitter think it's very likely on land. Right. What I, do you think? I think people are discounting ocean worlds too much. That is, I think, people tend to assume that whatever we did must be the only way it's possible. And I think people aren't giving enough credit for other possible paths, but. Dolphins, Waterworld, by the way, people criticize that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> Kevin Costner can do me no wrong.